hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ugona and as you can already tell from the title of this video today I'll be installing this bulb wig I purchased from Amazon this wig is from the brand AF sister wig I'll definitely recommend this wig for anyone looking for a quick and easy look for the holiday you know or a special occasion like birthday anything or if you're just looking you know to change your hairstyle um, I'll definitely recommend that you purchase this wig from Amazon um, it is very very easy to install um, I think the quality is amazing if you'd like to see how I installed this wig just keep watching so as you can see I'm starting off um, with my hair packed in a slick back ponytail it's also braided at the ends um, and I also tied it with a hair piece and now I'm using my wig cap to cover my hair while it's under the wig so since this is a protective style I also have to protect my hair while it's under the wig also you do want to pull the wig cap very low past your natural hairline that way you'll be able to spray the glue um, past your natural hairline and you don't ruin your hairline and as you can see here, I'm using the Guts to Be Free Spray. So that's what I'm using to glue the wig cap on my hair. Now I'm going to be blow drying my hair. And I chose this particular blow dryer nozzle because I feel like it directs um, the air exactly to where you need it. Um, and I need this to dry as fast as possible. So... I think this is the best nozzle to use when drying the glue on your wig cap. I'd also like to mention that this blow dryer was set on cold. So as you could probably see from the side of my hair here, um, the wig cap is already lifting, which means that I did not put enough glue or I didn't pull the cap lower than I was supposed to. I also went ahead and put on my foundation powder. Um, that way it also helps with the camouflage of the wig cap when I do have the wig on. Now I'll be using the ghost bond glue. So this is the glue that I will use to secure my wig onto the wig cap. Um, and this glue is really good so it could last for days depending on how you maintain it. So after applying the glue, I will begin blow drying. I would definitely suggest to keep blow drying until you see the white color turn clear. So once the glue turns into a transparent color, that's when you know you're all good to install your wig.
So now that I have the wig on top of the glue, um, I'm going to be tying up my hair just so it stays secured so that the glue, so that the wig can dry right on top of where I need it to be. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut off the lace on my frontal and I just combed the hair out of my face. That way I can begin spraying the Gusta B free spray again. And I feel like this step is very important because, because it really helps blend um, your lace with your complexion. Um, and that way the lace is not detectable. Now I'm just going back in with my foundation powder. Um, and I'm just putting that right on top of the lace in the front where it's kind of visible. Um, so I'm just trying to put that on to help it blend more. Next, I'll be using my hair wax. This really helps with holding down on flyaways. And also it really helps when you're trying to achieve that flat natural look. So I'm going to be applying the hair wax right along my middle part as you can see there and once I'm done with this I'll then take my hot comb, my electrical hot comb and kind of press it down to help it um, achieve, to help achieve that flat look I was talking about earlier. <music> Next, I'm going to be cutting off the baby hair. Um, I feel like baby hair is, always gives frontal a very natural look. Um, kind of makes it, gives it that effortless natural look. Um, so I'm, that's what I'm doing right now is just cutting off some baby hairs. Thank you. 
Okay, so once I'm done fixing my baby hair, I'm going to be styling this wig with my flat iron. And this flat iron is on the setting 350 degrees. <music> So for the last step, I am going to be using my concealer. This is the LA Gal Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. I'm just going to be using it to enhance the color of my pack. That way it shows up more and the line is a little bit more visible and straight. And there you have it. This is how I install my frontal lace wig. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much to AF Sister Wigs for sending me this hair and I'll see you on the next one.